How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today, I am going to attempt another Star Wars build. The reason why? Because I haven't done one in a few weeks. I don't think it was... I think it was a few weeks ago I last did it. Um, today, I am going to attempt to build the Y-Wing, which is a one that I didn't even know existed, honestly. I had no idea it existed. This was suggested by one of you guys, and uh, I don't know how well this is going to go. I know I say that a lot, but this one is like a very weird shape. Um, and uh, even the fr very front of it, I have no idea how it's going to work. I've started a new game, uh, mainly because I've been trying out some of the suggestions you guys have given me, sort of testing them to sort of see if they're even possible. Some of them aren't. So, uh, well, not really possible. It might be my inco- uh, What am I kidding? It is my incompetence. Um, but yeah, I, while I was testing with them, I installed a ton of mods and stuff, and uh, I, I kind of broke that game a bit too much. So, I started a new one, but that doesn't really matter, because I've still got all the crafts that I've built from that previous save. And it just means that we get to play with Jeb again, because he's the first Kerbal in the lineup, I think. So, here we go. Into the space plane hangar, or the plane hangar. I can't remember what the bloody hell this building's called. Right. Where do we start? Uh, first of all, I have got this mod installed, which is also suggested by one of you guys. I didn't know it existed. I've always wanted a mod like this. Uh, that, that's not exactly showing it off. Um, this is showing it off. Where, where, what are these? Look at this. Missiles. I can't wait to use this mod. I don't know how to use it that much yet. I may try and experiment with it today because the Y-Wing has two guns on the front. And they look like howitzers, which are... The reason I said howitzers is because I've seen them in here. Oh no! Give me the howitzer. Give me the howitzer. Give me the howitzer. They look like this on the front. Which is perfect, so I can, like, add those to the front. Which will be awesome, because then it will look even more like it. Okay, so I think we're going to start with this. Now, I'm going to say what I always say. That this isn't going to end up looking like it, I don't think. It will have the main basic shape, but it will have a lot of irregularities. Look at me using big words. Yeah, I'm smart. Oh, I really wish this game could be a bit more forgiving. But it's not. Which is really annoying. <laughs> Now, I think this is all I can get away with when it comes to what I can put on the back. Like, literally, this is it. That will have to go there. And then we need one at the front. But then again, the front of it isn't even aerodynamic at all. It's literally like this. So, if anything, I just need to go... Boop. And put that there. And then just bring that back a bit. And then maybe, like, tilt it down ever so slightly just to give it a bit of... Pizzazz. Yeah! That made no difference at all. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to put this on now. Just because it's going to bug me if I don't. Just because I really want to put it on. Yeah! Oh, yes! What, what weapons do they use? 105 millimeter. Now, these are all the box of ammos that you need. Or boxes of ammo, not box of ammos. Uh, 105. That's 50 cal. Where's 105? Cannon shells, 20. Ah ha ha! Okay, so these are the shells. Oh my god, they're massive. These are the weapons. If anything, that's good. That and That's the same color as the Y-Wing. That is perfect. It's very square. The, the main, like, T in the middle is very square. However, as we know, this game doesn't do squares very well. This is literally as square as it gets. Like, literally, that's as square as it gets. Unless I make it myself out of panels, and we know how well that's going to go. Now, I know it looks weird. I know it looks weird. I'm aware of that problem. However... <laughs> oh, no. No, this ain't going to work, is it? No. Oh, no. Okay, so, I've made my little middle section. Now, it looks like it has two engines here. It's kind of hard to find an image from it with it from the back, but it looks like it has two like engines right here. So I'm going to add some engines there, but I'm also going to need some fuel. So I'm going to have to put some fuel in this thing, and I don't know exactly where I'm going to put it yet. <laughs> this is such a weird design. Like, who the bloody hell came up with this idea? It's the weirdest design for anything I've ever seen. Oh god, um, that's not going to be easy, is it? How many do I have to go across? That many? Yeah, that'll do. That many. That, that. If anything, I only need to go across two. 
Okay, I think I'm going to put on the big circular things now just to make myself feel better. Because I'm pretty sure this thing doesn't look right. So putting this on, I'm hoping, will remedy that issue. And it kind of is. Okay, so now we're down to the difficult part. Which is, one, choosing a good enough engine to power this thing. And there is like a weird cable thing now that goes... Uh, they're not cables, they're like... I don't even know what they're for. They're just there to be there. And they're just going to be annoying to build. But I'm going to put them on. They're just like r weird runner things that go all the way along to a little cup at the back. It, it just seems stupid. Okay, so now, very difficult part. How on earth do I fit, like, this weird cone thing that goes here? I don't even know what to use for it. Like, what could I even use for this cone thingy? <gasps> I could use that! Oh, please be big enough. That's probably too big. If, however, I can do that. I love that tool so much. That should so be a part of the original game. Yes! I can use that at the back. Look at this! It's not gonna fly at all, because it's got... Oh, that's the thing, it's got no air intakes on it. It has giant jet engines, it has no air intakes. It has nothing like that, because this is supposed to be in space, but... Again, I might take these to space one day, but not, not today. Um, <laughs> and I also need to cover up this, but we'll do that in a minute. I just want to make... I want to get this thing out there and see what's completely broken with it. So I can hopefully fix it somewhat. Okay, here we go. The moment of probably not truth, because it usually explodes the first time I take it out. It usually happens. <laughs> like, the first time I take it out, everything just falls apart and it goes kaboom. Ooh! Okay, that needs some struts straight away. So that's something I've noticed. This isn't going to take off, because it's got no way of taking off at all. Oh, I want, I'm going to change the... Actually, no, I won't change the mode. Alright, 100%. 100%. They're all maxed! This thing's cool! Oh my god, how does this thing kind of work? Ah! Survive, guys! Yes! Okay. Problem number one. <laughs> it needs struts. That's, uh, that's kind of a given. Can I? Can I replace these, right? I wonder if I can replace those with wings and that will actually make a difference. It might do. Oh my god, it does. This might work. <laughs> this very much might work. And I, I, I've seen people attach winglets right next to these and they, don't, they work. Like, they don't break. Because I have looked at a few videos since I last played. I know a lot of people have been telling me to do that. Like, you really should look at some videos. I have. I've caved in, okay? I, I caved in and looked at it a few. But I haven't really learned anything. I mean, look at it. Look what I've done. Look. It's like... It shows resemblance of one, but it's not exactly the same. If anything, these need to be further back. But that's not really a problem for me right now. Like, I, I just want to see this thing fly. Okay. Please don't- Oh, I forgot about the flimsiness. Bollocks. Well, that's gonna cause me giant issues, isn't it? Ah! We're off-roading! We're off-roading in a wide... wing! Yes, that's so much nicer. It can hold itself together. If, anyone, if anything, I want to add one there to there, which will also help out a lot. Something else I've realised is these engines in the middle, just these two, can actually push the entire thing. Look. These ones ain't even running yet. Oh, they are running. Oh, it's because they're on that I'm using staging and not action groups. Ah, okay. That's good. We're staying we're staying level, which is good. Lift. Lift. No lift. Come on. Max thrust. Ah. <laughs> we're up. We're up. I haven't even got SAS on. And it was flying like that. Something I built was flying straight and true without SAS. What is this witchcraft? Now, something else I want to do is try out these guns. How do I do, how do, I do them? Toggle. Oh, what? What did I do? Disabled. Enabled. 
Oh, they move. Oh, they're going where I look. Oh, oh, that is cool. So I've got like guidable one. Oh God. Okay, this thing is scary to fly. It is very scary to fly. But look, I could like, pew, 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 pew. Can I shoot at you? Ah, ah, do I need like ammo or something? Ah, oh, buzz the tower. Yeah. <laughs> this thing is awesome. I love it. Maybe it was from those few videos that I watched. Maybe that's the reason I'm good at this now. I'm now an expert at Kerbal Space Program. Oh, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? I pressed the button. I pressed number two. And I think all three of the people in there needed to go for one as well. Okay, I'm kind of testing a theory here that I can block them without it having massive consequences. Why, you may ask? Well, because I want to make sure it looks like it did in the photos. I want to try and keep it with all of its chiseled lines and stuff and make it look awesome. Okay, so last thing I want to do before I take this thing out is see how to get these guns working. Now, when I took it out a minute ago to test it, it said I needed a weapon manager? Which I don't know what that is. Uh... A chafe dispenser, or chaff dispenser. I have no idea what that is. Weapon manager. Aha, is this the thing I need? Ah, okay, that makes sense. Okay, I've got an idea. We're going to hide things in here. It's going to be like my little contraband area. <laughs> there, we're going to hide contraband in here. So that should allow me to get control of these guns now. Oh yeah, this is going to be so cool. Please work, please work, please work. I want to see these guns work. I'm not going to take off. I'm just going to see if I can get the guns to work from the launch. So if I put the brakes on. I put the brakes on. Oh, no. That's not good. I think I'm going to have to make the wheels a bit bigger. <laughs> so it doesn't bounce. Uh, press this thing. Aha! Oh, God. Uh, weapons? Howitzer. Oh, God, I've got it selected. Oh god. Um fire? <gasps> oh. That is epic. Can I shoot that? Kaboom! <laughs> Kerbal Space Program become an 18 plus rated game now. This day. Screw you, Kerbals. <laughs> Oh my god, that is brilliant. Can I blow myself up? This is going to be a sight to behold. Kaboom. Yes, you can. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Okay, so I've been browsing through the BD Armory catalogue, and I have found this. That little white thing you can see hanging off the bottom is a laser. And I'm hoping to shoot some things with it, because it's just got Star Wars written all over it. Kaboom! Full thrust. Haven't got time to wait around for your BS. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to have this up. And have that there. And then we're going to go to the weapons. So we fired the howitzer, so let's trigger this thing. Armed. We are armed! Can we lift off? We'll make do without! Because I want to use this laser! Who's going to pull the trigger, Bill or Jeb? Jeb seems too excited. I think he'll go a bit mad. So we're going to let we're going to let Bill take the take the lead here. What do I shoot? What do I shoot at? Satellite dish. Nobody likes their cable anymore. Oh, wrong button. Oh my god. That's so cool. <laughs> How much electricity did I use? A lot. Oh god. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, it can actually overheat as well, look. We see it overheating over to the left. What if I let it overheat? <whistles> Nothing. Oh, look at this. I can just like, oh god. Oh god. Again, I'm losing a bit of stability here. Boom! Come on, reload! Yes! Swimming pole! No, I missed it. Hang on. Ugh. 
Yes! Pull up! <gasps> Yay! <laughs> and it comes crashing down. That was... That was one hell of a hoorah. <laughs> I couldn't resist, okay? I put more guns on it. I put more guns, air brakes, more ammo, and that's about it. What else did I add? I don't know what else... Uh, oh, and I added more, like, fin things here, because I thought they'd be useful. I'm not entirely sure if that's true, but I put them there anyway. Okay, here we go. Maiden Voyage. Two JDAM missiles attached... Or two JDAM bombs, they're not missiles. Attached to the bottom of this thing. <laughs> I so want to see what these do. 1,000 pound bombs. I swear that's a lot in real life. So... Oh, God. It's a bit back heavy now, which is something I haven't realized. Uh, but let's go. Uh, let's make sure everything's working right. I've also changed it so these engines fire on their own button compared to these, which these will fire on three. And then four activates that, and then five activates something else, which I've forgotten. Oh, that's the air brakes, I think. Yeah, five is the air brakes. Look how nicely this thing flies. Oh, I'm so... So happy this thing works. So the Vulcan turrets are these two machine guns that are on the top. Now yeah, look, you can see them moving. What if I fire? Will you fire? Have I not got any ammo? I might not have any ammo. Right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Fire! That's gonna land on the space center somewhere. Are we loaded? Fire! I could do this all day, like I've got a million ammo in this thing. Yeah! Fire! Alright, quick, swap to the JDAM! Oh my god. That's the area of effect or something. Or is that where it's gonna land? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And drop! Drop! Did I, I didn't drop him. Drop! And drop! Oh, I dropped one! Oh no! Ugh. Oh god! That nearly hit me! <laughs> I thought it was going to hit me. It nearly did. Here we go, 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 here we go. And drop. I dropped it. Oh, that didn't go well. I used myself as a bomb. Not good. Right. Throttle up. Activate engines. Activate the super boost. Activate my trigger finger. That's what I'm going to call that from now on. Uh, the Vulcan turret. Oh! Oh, that sounds nasty. <laughs> oh, that sounds so nasty. Oh, bollocks. Right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Coming in for another run. Die! Yes! Yes! My game is dying when I do that. Quick, drop a JDAM. Here we go, here we go. This time I will land it on a building. I've let go. I've let go of both of them. See that they're on their way. Boom! Oh. <laughs> oh man, that shouldn't have been a JDAM. That should have been a cluster bomb. It hit me and then blew me up into a million other bombs. <laughs> oh, that's so epic. Okay, this is it. The final voyage. I've removed the, the big guns from it because they were there just because I wanted to see what they do. Uh, I've got the original guns on it as well as, it, as, well as it's like absolute arsenal of ammo. <laughs> and now we're going to get going for the last time. Until we put the Y-Wing to rest as something I can tick off my bucket list. Something I can tick off that I managed to succeed in. In Kerbal Space Program, which is not what I expected at all. I did not expect it to work. And look at it, look, it's trying to actually take off like a proper plane. Oh! Oh god, it's so scary with this thing. I keep thinking they're gonna hit the ground. Howitzer is armed. Let's bomb Kevin Island. If you were here for absolutely way back when, when I used to come to this island, this was Kevin's Island. 
because I dropped him off and then he chose not to get back in my plane. It was nothing to do with my bad design. Nothing. Yes, 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 yes. Boom! Oh, I got it! Oh, bollocks. No! I like the way there's a delayed reaction, like, you're screwed. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> okay, so, for a final thing, I am going to attempt to land this bad boy. The air resistance on this thing should be so great that it should slow down basically by that alone. Like, it should. Whether it will, don't know. Pull up, please. Pull up, please. Oh! Oh, poo! He's coming out. Land. Land, 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 land. Oh, oh, please, please stop, please stop, please stop. Pull the chutes, everything you've got, break, break. Uh, ow. Why do I kill Kerbals literally every video? <laughs> oh no. So there we have it everyone, that was the Star Wars Y-Wing Challenge. That was actually massively unexpected. I did not expect that to work. I am now an expert at Kerbal Space Program and now we all know it. Because this proves everything. Something like this can fly and it flies better than most of the things I've built. Even the cargo plane, it does actually fly better than. It turns better, it's just very laggy. That's the, that's the biggest issue I have with this thing. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me blow up absolutely everything with my new guns. Because the guns are so cool. And they, they, it's good that this thing actually has guns, otherwise it would have been a bit out of place, but... Oh, I'm so happy with this, it's so cool. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys soon. Stay tuned. Stay awesome. Goodbye.